What's going on everybody? Chris C. The Slasher Dude back with another video. I'm back and uh, hopefully better than ever. Sorry if I seem a little stuffed up, you know. Um, relapsed a little bit, but that's not for this platform. So anyway, hope everyone's having a good Slasher Saturday. Today we're going to be talking about this bad boy right here, The Sleeper. Um, straight off, uh, I give this film a six and a half out of ten. Probably one of the best indie slashers I've ever seen, uh, I have to admit. Uh, directed by... Um, Directed by uh, Justin Russell, also the writer. Uh, pretty interesting indie director. This is the only uh, film I've seen from him, from this director. He's done another one called uh, The Gremlin and uh, Death Stop Holocaust. Um, I looked up The Gremlin real quick. It looks to be a folk horror slasher type of a thing. It's its own film, so I'll definitely have to check out that other film from him. Uh, this film was done in only uh, 13 days. Uh, great indie slasher. Like I say, one of the best indie slashers I've ever seen. So it's kind of like a mix between um, House on Sorority Row and Halloween. There's a scene straight up from Halloween. There's like a sex scene in this sorority house. The dude walks down the stairs. He turns around, he smiles, and he walks out the door. And it's just like, just shot on shot. Great, great Halloween, you know, vibes and stuff like that. 80s, like, um, synth type of music and stuff like that very good just basically this um the serial killer called the sleeper um basically have has eyes like these um kind of like glazed over um being played by uh jason j crabtree great part by him these are all uh, uh it stars Brittany uh belland uh, billand i believe and uh ray goodwin as well uh very uh, beautiful, sexy ladies in here and stuff like that. You can tell they're, uh, you know, they're, <laughs> uh, they're acting ain't the greatest in the world, but I like it a lot. There's good kills in here. Uh, there's an inter interesting one in a pool and stuff like that, too. Um, it's a good slow pace a little bit, which I like. There is a scene where they're dancing in this uh, 80s club and stuff like that, you can say, um, where the song mentions uh, CDs, compact discs, and uh, that was before this time, so a little goof there. That's okay. It's an indie film, indie director. Um, it's funny what they say in the back of this disc. Uh, what Ty West did for the 70s, Justin Russell has done for the 80s. So um, one of the people that um, I see in the chats and um, the other... Um, live streams that I watch all Wild Wrangler he mentioned this film and sent Slasher Dude here just to, to check this bad boy out which I did highly impressed by that it's a good Halloweenist uh, Halloween-esque type of a film it's a good slasher uh, Slasher Dude here approves of this um, and that's a uh, that's the sleeper um, done in 2012 by the way so and uh, yeah it's cool checking out kind of films like this specifically slashers if it's slasher element type of thing I'm, I'm totally for it anyway that's my quick uh uh, thoughts and review on uh, the slasher from uh, slasher uh, the sleeper from uh, 2012 and uh, yeah a good six out of six out of ten again everybody thank you very much for the support if you could uh, slash the like sleeping bag kill the subscribe I'm Chrissy the slasher dude and I'll see you all awesome people on the next one take care bye